What's going on, everyone? Happy Thursday. Hopefully everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, flu test, maybe it's RSV or some other virus, I hope you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues and no long-term issues. It is time now for the Thursday edition of the Virus Update for Thursday, January 30th, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. That's right. There's a lot of viruses out there. COVID, flu. Flu is running really high this year. RSV, norovirus is running high. You need to be informed what, with what's going on with these viruses. That's what I do here on my channel each and every day. You want to stay informed? Just subscribe down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know and leave your comments down below. We are trying for 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and let's try for 150 like button hits today. Alrighty, we do have several news stories to talk about today. Then we're going to take a look at some of our daily data, including EMS, which uh, is really bad last I looked at, and a few other things. We will not be getting to New York. We will not be getting to the UK or Ohio. All those things are not in yet. I'm recording early today because, as noted, I am going away for a few days, but there should still be a, at least a couple uploads over the next couple of days. I think we're only going to miss one or two days. All right, starting off in Missouri. Missouri issues emergency rule to expand testing for bird flu. And basically what this means is they are, the ruling is allowing for laboratories that can test for various avian illnesses and prevent the need to ship testing out of state. It's going to make things a lot easier to detect whether or not there are H5N1 cases ongoing in the state. And to be honest with you, I think this needs to be done in all states. Flu is really bad this year, and we need to find out if any of these cases are, in fact, H5N1 cases. Speaking of flu being bad, we have a lot of school closings to talk about today. In Fayette County, Tennessee, the Fayette Academy in Somerville is closing for the rest of the week due to the staggering number of illnesses among faculty, staff, and students. In Tennessee, yet again, this is the Jackson area TSAA High School basketball games are being impacted by illness. Uh, sounds like the games are going to be postponed and rescheduled around the area. In Virginia, the Natural Bridge Elementary School is closed Thursday due to widespread flu and illness. And yes, I am only seeing this just say Thursday. Uh, why bother? It needs to be Thursday, Friday, then you get the weekend, and maybe things are better next week, but that's what they are doing. The Madden School District, or excuse me, the Malden uh, Schools in Missouri, which is in the Fox 23 area, says schools across the Fox 23 area are calling off classes due to illness, and it's because of staff, students, and just the number of illness cases continue to go up. Yeah, not a good thing. And we actually do have another thing about schools in just a moment. First off, David Matthews had to uh, cancel um, or pull out of fire aid, you know, which was supposed to help the victims of the fires in California. Not because he's sick, but apparently someone in his family, his immediate family, is uh, critically ill and he needs to be with that person right away. So um, we hope all is well with David Matthews. We hope his family member does get better prayers to him and his family. Moving on to this, three Rutherford County schools see cases of whooping cough. And yet again, we're in Tennessee. Boy, I'll tell you what, Tennessee is getting hit really hard right now. Parents at the Oakland Middle School, Oakland High School, and McFadden School of Excellence have all gotten calls that there are cases of whooping coughs, pertussis, at each school. The reason they do this is because it's highly contagious, and they want to make sure you're watching out for symptoms and check their vaccination records. So the point is, whooping cough is rising there. We saw last year in 2024 that um, whooping cough was going up. And then we come to this, EPCPH, Jenkins, MS school students, I believe that should be for uh, middle school students. This is in Colorado Springs. I think this is New Mexico. Honestly, I forget. There's a lot of schools today. Uh, the El Paso County Public Health, that could also be Texas, Public Health Department has issued a pertussis notice to parents of students at Jenkins Middle School due to what it's calling the first outbreak of the year in El Paso County. Yet again, another whooping cough. 
How many schools is that today? Did we just mention like five or six schools that are deal or five or six different news stories? I mean, number of schools itself is higher because some news stories mention multiple schools. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not a child in school right now, but golly, for all those of you who are watching this that have a child in school, please make sure they're masking. I know. Oh, mommy, I don't want to wear a mask. My friends will make fun of me. It is the right thing to do, and we really need clean air in schools because this is ridiculous. We shouldn't have this many schools dealing with problems. All right, another whooping call thing story. Whooping cough cases on the rise in Josephine County. This is in Oregon. Pertussis, also known as whooping cough cases, are on the rise there as well. All right, taking a look at this, in Lubbock, Texas, an unvaccinated child has tested positive for measles. Yes, measles. We've been seeing cases pop of that in many different places. And here we are. We've only gone through the first month of the year. Alrighty, taking a look at my website now. Nothing much to really show you here today. I will not be doing a uh, post for the news stories today. I, I just don't have time to do that today. But uh, a lot of the threads on my site, I don't know if they will be updated while I'm gone. We'll have to see what happens with my cell service, if I can tether or not. We've switched to T-Mobile. I don't know what's going to happen. We used to have Verizon, and when we went to our place up there, uh, the service was very sketchy. It used to be good, then a new roof was put on. That messed things up. It, it's a long story. but uh, So some of my threads here, that my tracking threads, may fall behind uh, until next week, and then I will have a huge catch-up session. Taking a look at what's going on in Canada, the viral activity level of COVID-19 is high, flu A is high, flu B is moderate, and RSB is is running high at this time all right taking a look at what's going on with air qualities if we can and for the most part it's the west coast that's still dealing with problems but even the great lakes does have some problems today as does uh, some of the central region so anywhere you see yellow orange or even reds you do want to be mindful and there are just a few random sites here that turn red that's just a localized area could be a factory or something near that uh, site for air quality. Taking a look at what's going on in Pinellas County, Florida, you can see quite a few breathing problem calls and a mixture of other things going on at this time. In Philadelphia, 830 EMS incidents were reported on Wednesday and doing a live look in, yeah, think, wow, yep, things have not gotten better. This was 22 calls, it's still 20. Montgomery County right now, one, two, three, four, at least four respiratory calls right now, several cardiac emergencies, I mean, it's not getting better. Usually it starts getting a little bit better now, and it's just not. And taking a look at what's going on, and you got to be kidding me. How many calls is this? Um, I'm, we're going to count these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 26, Am I counting this correct? There are currently 27 calls in Chester County, Pennsylvania. And look how many of them say sick person, stroke, heart problems, diabetic emergency. This is just absolutely insane. I don't recall if I've ever seen Chester County get that high before. And at that point, they're going to have to send in or get help from other counties. Let's go back to Montgomery County just for a second, because sometimes we'll see it say other counties. And yes, it is popping up here. There is a call where Montgomery County had to go in and help Chester County, Pennsylvania, because there are just so many ambulance calls. Wow, that is ridiculous. Um, taking a look at the hospital situation. Not bad at the moment, but with that many calls by the afternoon, trust me, it will get bad. Taking a look at what's going on in New Jersey for today. And we can see New Jersey is actually not that bad. Just one, two, two hospitals at this point in time that are dealing with uh, patient volume or some other issue. As we get towards the afternoon, that number may increase because that's how that usually works. In Pennsylvania today, there was uh, an update, but not much has really changed. Still right up there in Monmouth County, Pennsylvania. I showed you the chart the other day. It has peaked, mind you, that's a 15-day trend. So the next update, that should uh, show it dropping there, or hopefully it will. And some of these gray sites, they may be going up. Southeast Pennsylvania, you know what, if we looked at the charts, they may, in fact, actually be going up because you just saw that it is really busy in southeast Pennsylvania. And I'm taking a look at one of these charts. Now, you can't see it. Well, maybe I could fix it so you can see it. Uh, take a look there on the right. 
yeah, this is uh, upper Montgomery County, and yep, it's starting to rise once again, and could potentially explain all these respiratory calls. Uh, let's take a look at Chester County real quickly, and Chester County is not rising again as of yet. Walgreens, the positivity rate is 11.5% for COVID, and taking a look at a couple wastewater sites, and then we do just have a couple other things, and that will be it for today. We'll take a look at Newark, New Jersey. And in Newark, New Jersey, we can see here, overall, COVID was rising. Maybe it's going to start dropping soon. RSV is dropping. Influenza A looks like it's maybe getting ready to drop. Influenza B is not calculated. And everything else is dropping at this time. Now let's take a look at a wastewater site out on the West Coast. Then we have Colorado and Washington. And that is it for today. Let's check up on Las Vegas. COVID is holding steady at medium. RSV. A little bit of a rise once again. We'll have to see if that gets corrected. Influenza A, holding steady. It's still high. Influenza B is rising a little bit. HMPV is low. Norovirus is dropping, but it is still high. And just a couple detections of hepatitis A, one being recent on January 24th. All right, take a look at this. In Colorado, COVID-19 is dropping for the positivity rate. Number of people in the hospitals at 103 uh, the positivity rate is 4.31%. Influenza, not good. 297 people in hospital, that's up. ER, department visits, 3.72. That's up a little bit. Weekly positivity rate for flu in Colorado, 21.39%. That's up by 2.76%. RSV is down by 23. In the hospital, still, they admitted uh, 199 people. That's not good. And uh, emergency department visits is up slightly. And the RSV positivity rate is up by 2.48% to 10.91%. Finally, Washington State influenza emergency department visits now up to 5%. That's really bad. We're, this is just a really bad year for influenza. Number of people in the ICU for influenza is at 32. COVID went up one to 11. But COVID overall is flat and RSV is dropping at this time. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Thursday edition of the Virus Update. Look for a video tomorrow at some point. I am uploading a pre-recorded video tomorrow of the um, a new intro to the channel. I think it was time we updated the intro. And, heck, I even said my actual first name in there. Yep, I don't know that we've ever done that before, but why not? I think it's time. Some people already knew what my first name was. But, uh, yep, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell, share this video with anyone you know, and of course, leave your comments down below. I will see you all again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe everyone, and have a fantastic Thursday afternoon. Thanks for watching.